I had Ted a little bit further that way, a little social distancing. There you go. And we got Mike, and then we got Ted. Ted been on quite a few videos, and uh, they came down from uh, Meriden, Southington, Southington, and uh, and uh, they're in the car business. Hey, they said never trust the used car salesman. These guys you can trust. Trust me. Teddy and I go back since uh, I was probably what nine. You were ten or eleven. Who would be years older than me? Our mom's best friends, my mom Jean and and Dot Trude, they were thick as thieves and. Teddy and I, we'd hang out and uh, go to the uh, Farmington Horse Show. It was the uh, uh, Department of Family Services ran that horse show in Farmington. Teddy was a big horseman. I, I couldn't stand horses. But we'd paint, whitewash the fences. We'd, uh, you know, hang out there and, you know, hang out with those carnies, you know, working the, work the, work the fairs and, and uh, just had a good time. And we'd been friends and all. Oh, Teddy got his license first, and he picked me up on the weekends to hang out with Teddy. And, and uh, Teddy was a ladies' man over there, and I was still uh, uh, green, uh, uh, you know. Teddy, so I'd hang out with Teddy, be mugging with all these, all these girls. And uh, but as, the next time over Manchester, I was from Vernon, and uh, so uh, and Mike just met Mike today, and we're gonna make him a couple of sandwiches. Mike, what's the, where's the name of your place? Deb's Auto. Huh? Deb's Auto. Deb. Yes. Zet and Deb yes. Auto, and uh, what's the address? 1821 North Broad Street, Meriden. 1821 North Broad Street. North Broad Street, Meriden. Meriden. It's Burlington, right? So anyway, you go buy a car from them, and I'm gonna get a little cut. So <laughs> we haven't discussed that. Now I'm kidding. Uh, this is my good friend Teddy's over there working now with Mike, and Mike uh, Mike's been a good friend of Ted. So a friend of uh, Teddy's, a friend of mine, and. Uh, so they're down here uh, getting some cars here in New London, and uh, I said, hey, come on by. I want to meet Mike, and uh, we're going to do uh, some sandwiches uh, for Ted. Mike's uh, low carb, good man, because I, I dropped a few pounds on low carb. And uh, so Ted, he says, uh, we'll do like an Italian combo, hot sure. in the oven. Sure. You want red sauce on it? Whatever you want. Okay. We're going to do it up. So let me get to work, guys. You got it. Nice to see it. Um, so. Well, this is how we used to do it, Anthony's. Remember Anthony's and Vernon, Ted? He always yeah, put it's over there, Rizzo Pool. <laughs> I was right next to my father's place, and I, he had the he. My dad had a real estate office right up above next door. It was next door, but right up above. And uh, we did a. Uh, it was a Planters Peanut store down below. Every time you walked out of my dad's office, you smelled like a Planters Peanuts. And. Uh, <laughs> And uh, so, uh, so anyway, we're gonna we're gonna put a nice grinder. But uh, but uh, I was saying, Anthony, he always put on his on his uh, on his hot sandwiches, uh, red sauce, you know, hot ham and cheese, uh, all that. So this is what I'm gonna do. Kind of a, uh, the old days, how we'd order them up. And. Uh, With that cheese. Uh, right here. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, some provolone. Nice amount. Nice amount of provolone. Parmigiani, Parmigiani, and then uh, some uh, Genoa. I'm gonna hand it over to Ted. He's gonna slap it in that uh, right in the front of the oven, and uh, so then. Uh, Some cap gabagool, some capicola. That's what they all say up in uh, Westerly Providence. Give me a gabagool. And, uh, okay, Ted, so we're gonna, just a little bit more. And I'm not gonna put any, uh, any sauce on that right now. All right, Ted, just slap it right in the front of that oven right there. What are you, what are you doing for Mike? Huh? I got Mike, don't worry. All right. Huh? All right. All right. I got you covered. All right. Um, so, 
So Mike, so we just stopped covered over here like a like a blanket. So uh, we got a nice grinder for Ted. Mike got that low carb. How long you been doing that for? A couple weeks. A couple weeks, good man. Yeah. yeah, I did a lot, you know, to help my breathing, you know, because I I know I have an allergy to gluten, and I got rid of that, and it helped, and I dropped some pounds. I got a little bit away from it, but stick to it, man. It's really good. But good. Mike wants some uh, a boneless, I mean a, a flourless, like gluten uh, gluten free chicken parmesan. So this is what we're gonna do. You like a little spicy? Sure. Okay, we're gonna pull down some of this. Uh, uh, a little red pepper flake. Put a little bit on there, and uh, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna hook you up. You got it. All right. You hungry? Yeah. All right. So uh, we're gonna season this up with some blackened seasoning. It's uh, you know some uh, really some uh, you know, all-purpose seasoning, not just the blackened seasoning. And uh, okay, so we make sure our skillet's uh, plenty hot. Now pull it out. Or turn, turn it around also. Just pull it out. Johnston, Rhode Island, with this uh, other competing uh, linen company. He came in there with all this uh, different lingo. Yeah, his, his mom makes the best marinara and all this. And uh, trying to ingratiate himself. There ain't no way I'm getting rid of Calvary Linen Company. I'm loyal. Hey, Ted, give me a little bit of those sun dried tomatoes. Just a little bit. One of these cups here. Okay, right up under the broiler now. We're going to get nice and golden brown. Let's finish cooking that chicken. Chicken parm, flourless chicken parm. Nice keto friendly. That 
I don't have any green onions. Usually I got some. Oh, you know what? I can't. I can't do this without green onions. Yeah, you guys cool with the blues. Thank you very much. There you go, Mike. A little, little warm, but it's okay. You all right? All right. Daddy, you guys cool with the blues here. I got a new friend, as I say. Thank you very much, Dad. A friend of Ted is a friend of mine. Mike, you give it a car dealership one more time. Deb? Deb's Auto. Deb's Auto. Berlin Turnpike. Berlin, Berlin Turnpike. A lot of action on that turnpike. There is. God bless. Daddy, you guys cool with the blues. But Keisha Lee, she got it going on on camera. We got it. We got And we upgraded our camera. Glenn's not here today. So uh, we're doing it. Peace. All right, it's Ted time. Ted time. Daddy Jacks. <laughs> so, so we're gonna finish Teddy's grinder just with a little red sauce. And uh, now you don't want any zucchini, Ted? No, thank you. Okay. He's an Italian grinder, and uh, remember, remember uh, Giuliani's? Or yep. what was it? Uh, Giuliano's. Giuliano's Bakery, man. Yes. He had the best grinders in town. Made his yes. own bread, yep. and uh, he used to make these grinders every day. Uh, aged provolone, Genoa on his fresh baked bread, and he had a special marinated uh, uh, roasted peppers. I think he just put. Like garlic, balsamic vinegar, a little olive oil, and uh, regular red wine vinegar, and made and roasted those peppers till they were dry. And then he'd have those on a sandwich, cold. He'd wrap them. Probably sold what 200 a day, Ted. Oh, a lot of them. Huh? A lot of them. All right, Ted. That's you, man. All right, thank you. My bat, my pal Ted in the house. Thank you, thank you. All right. I can't wait. Yeah. All right. Nothing better than cooking for friends. Uh, you know we're we're shut down, shut down from uh, you know we're making the best out of it, and uh, we're gonna try to continue cooking, uh, making our videos. Uh, check out our Patreon page if you feel like becoming a member. Uh, it's uh, Patreon.com, uh, Patreon.com/slash Daddy Jack's Cool with the Blues. Thank you. So, how is it, Mike? Absolutely outstanding. Enjoy it? Oh, hey, it's excellent. Don't miss the breading. Don't miss it, right? The, we cook the it. sauce is delicious. Yeah, nice natural flavor. I season it up real good. We could, add, we could add a little fresh basil, but you know, we're, our inventory is running down now, so we're just, I didn't buy any fresh basil. We got dry basil. It's but perfect, Jack. And Ted, how's your sandwich? Mm. Huh? You're gonna cut me off a little piece off that other half? Beautiful. A little quality control? Yeah, we'll check it out. Just a little bit. You got it. And uh, say, so, hey, Patriots, you know, I don't know, you know, man, I've been a loyal fan with the Patriots, but but Tom, Tom terrific, man. I don't know, he's gone, moved on, and uh, a little disappointed with Robert Kraft, you know, they didn't make a deal, you know, keep him, because he should have been an ambassador for the whole team. He's worth whatever he wanted to get paid. And, uh, you know, he took it was under the salary cap all this almost his whole career, and now he's going for the dough. That's his right. He's a free agent, and uh, so I don't know. We're gonna see how he used to be a cowboy fan until Jerry fired uh, uh, Jimmy Johnson, and then I was I was a cowboy fan when I was in eighth grade, all the way to when I lived in Dallas. A lot of cowboy players came. Remember Daddy Jacks? But anyway, uh, hey, life goes on. You know, do you know, you know try to not watch too much news. Stay healthy and uh, you know, you know, make yourself uh, get outside, get some fresh air, do what you have to do, and uh, we'll be okay. We're gonna come through this. Daddy Jack's going with the blues. Peace.